Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible, one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on every chapter of the Bible that I'm sharing that with you. Today, we're looking at Deuteronomy chapter eight. Do you believe that wilderness times are an important part of your spiritual formation? The key is how we walk through those times and if we walk alone. Deuteronomy chapter eight, verse three was quoted by Jesus at a time of temptation during his 40 days in the wilderness. Its original context was God's gracious warning to the next generation to obey all his commandments in light of how he dealt with the previous generation during their 40 years of wilderness wanderings. Quote, he humbled you and let you be hungry and fed you with manna which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you understand that man does not live by bread alone. There it is. But man lives by everything that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. In the three temptations found in Matthew chapter 4, Jesus quoted from the second giving of the law each time. He started with this one. Then he referenced Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 16. You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. And concluded with verse 13. You shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. God's motivation in both wilderness experiences was to prepare his people for their great purpose, to teach humility and absolute dependence on him. Moses declared God's love for Israel when he shared this purpose in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verses 16 to 17. In the wilderness he fed you manna which your fathers did not know, that he might humble you, and that he might test you to do good for you in the end. Otherwise you may say in your heart, my power and the strength of my hand made me this wealth. Seize the moment and walk faithfully with Jesus through your wilderness wanderings, remembering that God is using this time to prepare you to do even greater works. That's the promise of Jesus. Seize the moment.